As recreational golfers, we all experience our highs and lows with this great game. But one of the most frustrating things to happen is to miss a three-foot putt. Hi, my name is Ron Olson, and I've created an easy way to putt that is remarkably accurate that I call finger putting. When you learn how to finger putt, you will putt better than you ever thought possible. So stay tuned to learn an easy way to make all those short putts without any stress. If you see value in this video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. It really makes a difference. I will be talking about a right-handed golfer. Do the opposite if you are left-handed. So grab your putter and let's get started. First, you need to grip the putter in a unique way so that it will hang straight down. This allows the putter head to flow straight back and straight forward. If you have not tried this, I will reference a video at the top that explains how to make this grip. All the best putts happen when the putter head makes square contact with the ball. Conventional putting is controlled by your shoulders and this creates an arc or a gate type of swing. This type of putting requires perfect timing and rhythm to make square contact with the ball. Because finger putting is an upright straight back and forward swing, you will always make square contact. On a very short putt, you do not need a lot of energy from your putter head to get the ball rolling. What I like to do is to make my grip as light as possible without losing control of the putter head. Now I will make a very slow backswing by pulling with my right middle finger and then stop my hand. Because my grip is very light, I will get a slow moving rebound. You, you have to be very patient with this and try not to move it any faster. Once it starts forward, you will pull lightly with your left middle finger. It is almost like allowing the putter head to fall into the ball. There is not much of an impact on the ball, but it will be enough to move it a few feet and it will always be on your target line. On those short putts, this is simple and stress-free. What I'm doing is controlling the putter face with my grip and I'm allowing the putter head to flow toward the ball without trying to force any of the action. This light grip only works well on shorter putts. As the putts get longer, you must put more pressure on the grip. But the key on any length of putt is to maintain the same pressure throughout the backswing and forward swing. You know, I have to say that many of my subscribers are getting really good at finger putting. I hear from them almost daily about how much they appreciate all the help that I've been giving them. So if you struggle with your putting, it's time to start finger putting. There's so much more to tell you about finger putting, so I've created a complete instruction video along with a PDF and pictures that explains all the details on how to finger putt. You will also get weekly email tips that will help fine tune your putting. All this is free. There's a link below, so download finger putting today and get started putting better than you ever thought possible. And if you saw value in this video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to my channel because that will help me build momentum for future videos. Thanks for watching. And remember, the quickest way to lower your score is with your putter.